Hello and welcome to Northeast Media Hub, the fastest growing digital media platform. I am Adalbert Khar with the latest Hub news. Be informed, be alert. In what comes as a shocking news and reflects the burgeoning problem of cybercrime and that nobody is truly safe, scamsters have created fake social media handles under the name of Megalize PHE Minister Marcos N. Marak and are using these accounts to demand money and personal information from his friends and followers. This came to light after the minister himself posted a message on his official Facebook page about the matter on Saturday afternoon and urged people not to send money or share their personal information being sought by the imposters in his name. Marak's son... Tengring M. Sangma has also lodged a formal complaint with the Sadar police station at Police Bazaar in Shillong regarding the matter and sought urgent action. A large group of supporters in favour of Garoland State staged a huge rally in William Nagar district headquarters of East Garo Hills, Meghalaya, on Saturday demanding that the MLAs adopt a resolution in the State Assembly for the bifurcation of the state. Leader of Garoland State Movement Committee, Nikman C.H. Marak, who led the rally, said that the rally adopted a resolution calling for the State Assembly to adopt a resolution seeking the bifurcation of the state. Nikman also said that support for Garoland was across the Garo Hills region and the participation by Nokmas, Headman, Lashkar and NGOs was a testimony to the support for the bifurcation of the state. One taxi driver has been arrested by the police in Gangtok, the capital of Sikkim, with a huge quantity of drugs. The arrested taxi driver has been identified as Buddha Tamang, aged 33, hailing from Deerali in Gangtok, city of Sikkim. The drugs were recovered after the taxi was intercepted by the police at Old Rangpo Chek Post. As many as 425 Spasmo Proxivon capsules, 200 tablets of N10, 65 bottles of prohibited cough syrup and a cash amounting to Rs 43,560 were seized from the car. As many as six new battalions of Indo-Tibetan Border Police, ITBP, will be deployed in the frontier northeast state of Arunachal Pradesh. These new ITBP battalions will be deployed in Arunachal Pradesh in a bid to counter China's assertions on the northeast state. The six ITBP battalions to be deployed in Arunachal Pradesh are among the seven new battalions that the Union government sanctioned recently. The seven battalions were sanctioned by the Cabinet Committee on Security in February this year that will comprise of 9,400 personnel in total. Thank you for listening to Hub Podcast. For latest news and updates, follow us on www.hubnetwork.in. Download Hub News app in your mobile from Google Play Store and Apple App Store. For promotion and publicity, write to us at info at hubnetwork.in. Thank you. Kublai Shibon, Mitela.